guys welcome back to my channel so today i have an exciting video because i've been feeling a little not cute i thought it'd be a cool video to do a little transformation moment just because clearly not everybody looks amazing all the time and the power of hair makeup and little things can you know just make you feel a little bit more better a little bit more confident i have done a video like two years ago with the same title same vibe where i kind of like go from this to that type of thing but obviously my makeup and my routine and my hair has changed so much before we get into the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know if you guys like these videos guys i just right now the hair is just not it i have like three lashes hanging my nails are a mess you know we're not looking quite amazing right now we could look better so we're gonna go ahead and do a little transformation today and today our special guest is glam seamless which they were nice enough to send me these hair extensions these are 25 inches they are so nice guys they're probably the best extensions i've had so far clip-in wise and they're very thick quality so if you're looking for some good hair extensions don't forget to check a glam seamless i'm going to be leaving them a link down below so i'm very excited to use these today these are in the color jet black 25 inches so let's get into the video so what i want to start off with is the hair because i'm really excited to try these extensions out so i just literally opened them from the box so they do have like this nice little wavy texture to it but since my hair naturally right now is kind of like this texture where it's like straight i also have like i currently have like bangs so my hair has been a little funny at the front i don't know what's been going on i used to have the longest like nicest hair and this year i decided to just kind of like ruin it so what i'm gonna do is gonna start parting the hair to apply these extensions so i'm gonna go ahead and start heating up my flat iron my hair straightener so we can kind of run it through this clip so it's a little bit straighter since we are going to go ahead and um kind of just run through the extension just so it's not super wavy i'm gonna go ahead and grab my hairspray and a little teasing brush and i'm gonna turn around just to see if it works that if you guys can see anything go ahead and spray the top have a little section and just tease the top right there right here right here I'm gonna go ahead and open the extensions great clips by the way really hard and steady you don't want those clips to be sliding or to be really floppy i'm gonna go ahead and insert number one in the middle right here clip number one make sure it's nice and tight grab this side nice and tight and grab this side nice and tight so we're gonna go ahead and repeat this from here to up here to up here basically until we have all of the extensions uh so far these extensions feel really nice all right guys so we have our extensions in cute little loose curls over here i was able to tuck in my bangs kind of miss like looking at my forehead i'm not gonna lie so we love it gave it just a very like bouncy longer look than before again like these little this these little like hairs that kind of sometimes stick out remember you can just like braid that in the back and not have to deal with it um, but yeah, we love that we are looking a little bit more alive with the hair. I'm going to go ahead and put this to the back. And we're going to start with our face. Okay, so today we're going to get into a very in-depth makeup tutorial. Very 
2022 a lot of techniques have been left behind and i kind of want to just explain a little bit more kind of like what i've changed you know i know you guys see me do my makeup really quick but i think i want to get into very like into detail i think it's important that every year we kind of like learn something new just so we're not behind and we're always updated in the whole makeup world there's a lot of techniques that have came out that definitely just don't work for me but i do like to try different things and see if, if i like it if i'm gonna keep it uh with like my routine or if i'm just gonna kind of skip so whatever works best for you but like just in general we know that a lot of things have changed the brows um the contour the way we use our blush a lot of cream blush now um, but I for sure know that we have mastered the um, setting and the contour and like the powders this year I think this year has been kind of like the boom of it because I know a couple years ago We kind of were trying to figure out like how do we set this face is is um, Baking a thing or should you not bake if it's a, you know what I mean? All of those things that now I feel like this year is just like we know what we're doing We don't look like a mess anymore. So I mean I kind of do with these lashes <laughs> But we're going to get into it. So it's always good to prime, prep and prime the skin. That's a must, right? What I've learned is not to put too much product underneath your skin. So nothing too oily. Nothing that is going to probably create like an almost thick layer on your skin that when you put your foundation in might kind of affect the way it looks so lately what i like to do is just simply apply my daily moisturizer or i like this glow recipe um watermelon glow so i'm going to go ahead and apply this on the skin so what i like about this is that it's not oily it moisturizes it gets the face nice prepped and prime for the foundation Okay, so now that we have a nice base to kind of put the foundation on top, we're going to go into foundation. So I do switch my foundation quite a lot, but lately what I've been loving is the CC Cream from Derma Blend. So it's not only good for you because it has SPF, but it has an amazing coverage. So Derma, Derma Blend like, is pretty known for having good, good coverage, and i just really been liking this for my face lately. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's just been pretty bomb and I have a couple of colors depending on how tan I am I did kind of self tan yesterday a little bit so I am just just a little bit tanner so I'm gonna go ahead and use this little uh, brush it's a synthetic brush and I'm gonna go ahead and start kind of like seeing if this is kind of like my my color right now it does look a little bit lighter than my skin so the only bad part is that since I did um since I did tan, my favorite foundation right now isn't kind of matching. So I'm going to go ahead and use this, this Beauty Blender foundation called Bounce Skin Tint. So it's just a skin tint. I'm going to go ahead and apply a couple of drops of these because it is darker. Kind of just mix it in. And as you can see, it just it's a little bit, it's a little bit darker, so. I'm going to go ahead and use my beauty blender to blend in the foundation nicely. Go ahead and drag it down your neck. You want to be able to match everything. So you don't want to just go in with the brush. The problem is that it is going to be streaky. So it is good to kind of just match, get the product spread evenly. Um, it's not going to give you like the flawless effect that a beauty blender would give you. I really want to try the House of House of Labs. Um, I, is it? I thought it was called. I don't remember the Lady Gaga foundation. Um, I might just take you guys to Sephora and do a little video review on that because I do like to try new foundations. Just always very tricky because I'm very particular with the foundations that I like. Um, but yeah, so this is what the foundation looks like it's a very flawless effect it covers but not to the point where you literally can't see anything like it covers but if you get really really close to your face you can still see a couple of like your little freckles you know so give it like a very skin like look and with a lot of with great coverage just like the the right amount of coverage so we're gonna go ahead and go into concealer. So the concealer that I've been loving is this Kosas concealer in the color 
3W great moisturizing concealer so what I do like in a concealer is how hydrating it is so if you really think about it if it's very hydrating underneath the eye you crease a lot you want to be able to be able to moisturize your under eye that's how I see it because then it will like be patchy it's hard to blend so a nice like creamy moisturizing concealer does the job I do a little bit on my eyes, a little bit right here, and then just to elongate my chin, I do it right here as well. A good little trick is to just kind of give it a couple seconds to kind of dry up a little bit. You'll get the most coverage out of the concealer so you don't have to like reapply. So just like 10 seconds and then you can go in with the beauty blender and start blending. So I really like the combination of this foundation with this concealer because again it has coverage but it still gives you such a beautiful finish and it's not a cakey look. Like when you look at yourself you don't look cakey. So once that's all blended and it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and brighten up my under eye with this Juvia's Place Concealer in the color 22, which is to, which is a much lighter concealer, but all I'm going to do is just add like a couple dots right here, and that's it. I just want to highlight my under eye a little bit more. I feel like I tend to lose a little bit of the brightness after I set with my powder so we're gonna go ahead and contour so I have been using this Maybelline super stay concealer for my contour and this is in the color 57 I have other like products that I can use and that I actually recently purchased but for some reason this has just been so smooth like it's just been super easy to blend this product as a contour and if you're just like making my life easier i love you so this one has been making my contour just easier and like kind of like help me just finish and get it out the way so make sure you put that contour above this little line um i used to make the mistake of making it right here and kind of dragging it too low so you're gonna go ahead and just blend it up like this and as you can see it's just been super flawless like boom And then I do my nose last. I just kind of do a little line down here and then a line at the top and kind of just tap it. Um, I don't want it to spread all over my nose. I kind of just wanted those two line, lines right there. So it kind of gives me that effect when I just wait and blend it last because I don't need too much blending going on on the nose. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this Plush and Glow Cheek Plump from Tarte and the color Berry and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it with this like synthetic fluffy brush so now we're gonna go ahead and start setting our face so sadly I am running out of my powder which is pound cake from Huda Beauty and it's like sold out. I just have a little bit left, but this is gonna be enough for me to do a couple looks. But I do have to go to Sephora, wanna get that foundation I was telling you guys about and some more of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm still using my beauty blender to set my eyes. I have seen a lot of people using the little square puff so I'm going to order those and use those and let you guys know how I feel about it. For now, the Beauty Blender does the job, does the trick. So first, I kind of apply just a little bit just to set it. And then we'll go in with like a more generous amount and kind of just... So again, a little bit just to kind of set those creases. Make sure you blend before you apply the powder again. 
and then we'll go in again with a generous amount and it's okay if you go over your blush because we are going to be applying powder once again i'm going to go ahead and use that same powder and kind of just draw a line right here so i'm going to go ahead and use a foundation uh powder Lately, I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury, the color 2. Great, great powder. It is a foundation powder, but it is not going to make you cakey. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a fluffy brush. And I'm going to go ahead and set those areas where we have not set. So maybe down here. I'm going to go ahead and blend my eyes. As you can see these creases are not it so I'm gonna blend those eyes and go in with this powder set my eyes that way you have like a nice space for when you do your shadow now I'm gonna go ahead and go into just the contouring so yeah I was obsessed with the Kat Von D contour palette but lately I've been just using this charlie tilbury foundation powder again to just contour and basically kind of bronze my face so i do like to still go in with a little bit of hula bronzer just to kind of you know add a little bit more color so i'm going to go ahead and use that um hula bronzer and kind of just go on top of those of that just just a tiny bit nothing crazy so i'm going to go ahead and use that same charlotte tilbury color that we were using and this aoa studio brush and it's in um E109. It's E109. It's like an angled brush, but a little bit flat right here. So this is perfect because that line right here guides uh, me for the nose. So, um, you know, you want to make it small, but you don't want to make it too small where it looks like weird. So I kind of guide myself with my brow. I kind of just take it right here, take it down right here, and just do a little line first. And then just go in there and fully use the bottom part, the fluffy part, to just blend that line that I created with the harsher side. So the harsher side, which is like that line, is going to create the little the mark. And then you use the fluffy side to just blend it. I kind of just tap it like this to the side boom 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 and I create this little this little line right here on the nose which gives you a more like Tinkerbell cute nose so we have the contour down we're gonna go ahead and sweep off this under eye situation that we have going on so I've learned not to sweep it because I've realized that it kind of messes up my makeup. So what I do now is I just tap, 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 tap. So for my under eye, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Dragon Beauty palette. Still a great under eye powder. And then just kind of set my eyes underneath again. This is just to brighten up. Can totally skip this spot but if you are the type to really like to brighten up your under eye i'm gonna go ahead and grab that fluffy brush and just kind of sweep the bottom right here we want this to look a little bit more natural so we really don't care to kind of define that right so i'm gonna go ahead and just keep using this batty on the block blush I'm gonna go ahead and use the Precisely My Brown, the color 3.5. All right guys, so eyebrows are on and I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. 
which for an everyday lately i haven't been doing too much with the eyes but i still use the same palette which is the tartlet palette i love the smarty pants color as you can see and i try to just bring my shadow like really high up right here all this really does is kind of just like contour my eyelid i really like the look of this so nothing crazy just a fluffy brush and that color bring it into your nose contour with that same color kind of make my eyes a little bigger with that color it just opens it up a little bit more so now we're gonna do our eyeliner um there's two eyeliners that i like one is a tattoo liner from Kat Von D, KVD, whatever. And it's in Mad Madame Max Brown, so it's a brown liner. And then this one from Benefit, which has been like one of the best eyeliners lately, is the Their Real Extreme Precisely liner. Such a good liner, especially if you like a good cat eye look. Really, really good liner. I totally recommend it. Alright guys, so I went ahead and did my eyeliner, popped some lashes. I'm using the, the Lash Line lashes. I've been loving these lashes when I don't have lash extensions. Sorry, when I don't have lash extensions, these just really come through. I really like the look up the, on them. I love the curl on them. And they just make my eyes look really cute and like dolly. So yeah, Lash Line, Lash Line LA on Instagram. So after I pop those in, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this with the Tarte Stay Spray. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Tarte mascara and Tartlet Tubbing mascara and put some on my real lashes so they can blend in with the fake ones and then i'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face with the bobby brown moonstone shadow that i don't switch for absolutely nothing i like that it just gives me a nice simple glow and it's nothing crazy i don't like those metallic highlighters anymore i just like a little bit of glitter and that's it like we stop literally counting i do a little bit on my tip of my nose put some in my inner corner eyes I'm going to go ahead and do my inner eye eyeliner. Probably just going to do my go-to kind of like everyday lip liner. And then I'm gonna use the Morphe lipstick in Flirt. Such a nice lipstick, super easy. I really love this makeup. Honestly, I am pretty proud of myself because I have came to the point where like I feel confident in my makeup. It's a makeup that looks good in person. And I just genuinely love to share the techniques like i just really love to share the things that i picked up and i know are like working for me like don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know down below if you guys like this video if you guys learned something if you guys like the makeup look but yeah that's pretty much it for this video and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one bye